How long were you taking to finish full songs, start to finish before? Oh, before maybe like a couple months. A couple months. If, now, yeah. do you feel like obviously in week 10 you did a full song start to finish, mix and master week, but do you yeah. be consistent with that? Sure, I think uh, last Saturday I did a full song for just finishing the same day, so. Awesome. Uh, definitely build up my speed a lot. And I think just with all the exercises, figuring out how um, different elements work and like how different eyes do certain things definitely helps a lot in the process. Before you jumped on the discovery session with me fucking ages ago, what was the main concerns you were coming to us for? Um, I think I was just kind of stuck on figuring out where to go with music. Uh, I guess in terms of like song structure, what different elements to include and just uh, kind of a little overwhelmed in terms of how to get that kind of professional sound, if that makes sense. But I think yeah, those were kind of the main things uh, that were kind of in my mind before joining. Because you had a pretty good fundamentals down in terms of structure and arrangement and everything like that. And you understood call and responses mm-hmm. and you had a good ear for what you were hearing. But to me, it was mm-hmm. just more like refining the 90, about the 90%. Just needed the bells and whistles basically on the mix and master. And I feel yeah, like sure. now it's a lot more refined. What do you feel like mm-hmm. the end process has been for you now? Like you feel like your tracks are? Oh, I feel like they're kind of like, like a generation of difference because it feels like now. I know exactly what different elements I need to do, use to kind of that sound. Sound designing also, I love that a lot. And then I guess just going through the whole process of the weekly exercises helped me be a lot more individual elements of modern, like that professional mix that I wasn't really noticing before. So mm. definitely feel like I've gone level up a lot after this. What do you think of the entire process? Because there's no platform doing this kind of analysis and these types mm. of exercises to isolate problems and then identify them. Usually what happens is you'll, jo- you'll go to school and they'll give you a curriculum where it's like week one, we're going to learn EQ, week two, we're going to do this. How do you mm-hmm. feel how it was just really custom built and more just based on your your problems? I think it worked a lot better because I feel like just kind of having that like, the structure that I said with that week one, week two content, I think I feel like that kind of wastes time a little bit because I like, that information on YouTube anyways. So. Yeah. Having it this way, it just ensures that you can get some that actually knows what it should sound like to also look over the exercise. I think that was kind of the biggest thing for me, just having someone that is knowledgeable in what things should sound like. Um, I guess kind of what the work I did, basically. Absolutely. How did, how did you feel about the accountability? Because a lot of times we, we mm-hmm. tell people actively, of these are the ways you can level up. And a lot of people just don't do the mm-hmm. thing. They don't have that mm-hmm. extra push because it is very hard. Like, this whole process is yeah. a very humbling experience because you go in and there thinking like you fair bit and then you do the exercise and you're like shit this is actually really yeah. hard. so with with that whole process was it a lot easier because you had that accountability to do each thing each week yeah, yeah for sure honestly like in my last session finished like i had nothing to do because i was like yeah. i used to having all this to do every single week so i was like yeah, oh wow yeah, i have yeah. so much free time now but i just kind of i just still had that itch to kind of, kind of like keep yeah. and keep producing trying new things but that's yeah, interesting. Sure. That's, that's interesting because a lot of people after the 10 weeks, they go, oh shit, I need a break for a bit because it was so much work. Oh. That's interesting. You're like, you want more? Let's go. So yeah, it's yeah. 12 months now. So you know, hop into all those sessions and that way you'll keep getting that that push because what's in, what else is important is that camaraderie of being around other people that are also doing it. So in the, the Launchpad group stuff, you'll notice everyone's showing up with a new song each week. So you'll see that and you'll be like, oh shit, I think I got to do the same thing because everyone else is trying yeah, to level sure. up too. So it's obviously in a, a nice nature of competitiveness that everyone's trying to level mm-hmm. up, but uh, sure, really sure. good dynamic. That's awesome. So mm-hmm. what, what do you feel like was the main thing you put out of the entire thing? I'd say a mix and master process. Actually two things, mix and master process and a, um, a little bit of song structure just because with all the exercises, I can look through a lot of different uh, songs that most of them I can already, and there were songs I really liked, but before this, I didn't really dive in to see what made them, I guess, so good in terms of um, structure, all different elements that they kind of put in. So I think just seeing everything, uh, being able to kind of see how everything comes together was the biggest thing for me. And then as well, uh, the whole mix and mastery, mix, mix and mastery, sorry, process, just you know, to get different sounds, through mixing, et cetera, things like that, uh, I think were the biggest things that I got. Awesome. What about your speed as well? How long were you taking to finish full songs, start to finish before? Oh, before maybe like a couple months. A couple months, yeah. If, now, yeah. do you feel, like obviously in week 10, you did a full song start to finish, mix and master week, but do you yeah. be consistent with that? Sure. I think uh, last Saturday, I did a full song where we finished the same day. So awesome. uh, definitely build up my speed a lot. And I think just with all the exercises, 
figuring out how uh, different elements character might be how different artists do certain, certain things definitely helps a lot in keeping up the process also. perfect sounds great to me that's the main thing is the speed because what now that you're quicker at doing mission stuff you'll have that momentum most people don't have most people sure. I speak to are stuck in those it's at a time trajectory of finishing stuff even the more advanced people many people go back and try and fix that so it's really important and volume is everything because producer but just not enough everyone is trying to release really really good music but they're just not fast enough so they can't compete with yeah. the way how fast people consume content now with like form. Mm-hmm. same thing translates to spotify like people skip to your drop to be like oh, yeah. so that's what the volume is key and last question as well if if anyone was watching this video and was on the fence about checking out industry set did you have any pointers to them Definitely do it. I think if you're going to do it, though, make sure you fully commit to it and actually cut the time in to do every single one of your exercises each week because, honestly, it feels only beneficial. I guess some of the weeks I missed maybe like one or two solid equations, but I felt like everyone that I actually did manage to have the time to finish just helped me a lot, and I learned a lot from every single one of those. And I guess final thoughts, just make sure you do the work, and if you're going to work, the results will come after Absolutely. I could tell from the very get-go, you know, we, we chatted on the discovery session, you were already lean as hell the moment we started talking. Yeah. I want to get a good result. Let's do this. And mm-hmm. it's always those people that end up getting the best results because they show up to every session and they try their best and they spend, you know, they devote as much time as possible to doing the exercises. And I always tell people, mm-hmm. if you want a really good result in this, it's just a matter of how much you put into those exercises. Because if you're only sure. doing a couple of hours each one and you're not showing up with every single exercise, as many exercises as you could each week, and it's like just two out of the five, then obviously yeah. there's not so much you can learn from the process. 